Alright, so all goes as planned. We're going to put this LT1 in the car today. I'm just going to go over some harnesses. These connect to the computer, of course. These connect to the firewall. They're 8 and 10 pin. You can't mix them up. Those all go underneath the dash. This is your AC pressure line, which we took that off. Now some stuff down here. This one with the silver stuff on it goes underneath the car. Now you got your starter wire and then important ground wire. It goes up here. Now I've hooked it to the block right there. Um, then you got your uh, knock sensor wire. And that's pretty much it down here. There's one wire that runs over your AC compressor. We're not using that one. And then there's the O2 wire. He's got O2 extensions. So it plugs in there. Goes to the O2 sensor. And that brings us up to the top. Come around here. This is for your transmission plug. Speed sensor. And rear O2s if you have them. Some don't have the rear O2s. Now you come up here. Now, you got your injector plugs. They're marked. And you'll see that. Six. They're kind of war. Eight. Four. That one's shiny. Two. So those cylinders are two, four, six, eight. And then there's some emission stuff. Now, real important, this one right here has to be plugged in to the opti harness that plug right there which goes down and goes to your opti this is another um, emissions plug that's an emissions plug we're not gonna hook that stuff back up not gonna worry about it and it comes up here you got a map sensor plug which I did not plug in where did it go I need to plug that one in forgot all about it Someone broke the clip off of it. Hopefully it'll, it's pretty tight in there. Yeah, it's tight in there. All right, the clips broke off of it. That's important. I forgot to put that one on there. I'm glad I went over this. Um, you got your alternator plug down here. It's a big one, just clips right on. And then, you also got another um, plug, which I'll just set up here. That's for the AC as well. Now you come forward, you got your throttle position sensor plug and your air intake, temp, air, idle air control plug. Idle air control plug right there that goes to the throttle body. And then that comes forward, comes off of this one. And this is your intake air temperature. That plugs into your um, air intake that goes to your throttle body. Now this one's important. That's your water temp sensor for the ECM. That one's very important because based on your intake air temperature, your engine coolant temperature, it changes the fueling on the motor. Now we'll come back around here since we got all the important stuff on that side. But on this side usually have an EGR we've unplugged that we're not using none of that all right you do have a vacuum line that runs from your fuel pressure regulator over to this port also the bottom port I put it on and then this top port goes back into your wiring harness which comes out over here and connects over by the computer for your HVAC for your for your vents that's what changes the vents. Your vents work on vacuum when you change it to defroster or for it to come out the feet, etc. Now, <coughs> off that harness that comes down, then you got your oil level sensor. You got your oil pressure sensor. <coughs> and then you got your O2 sensor. It comes off of that. Which, if y'all watched the video when I was taking the motor out of the car, I had the back of the car on blocks so the exhaust tips didn't hit and the motor rolled off the blocks and rolled forward and the body 
pinched up against the motor and hurt some wires right there so I'm gonna have to fix that this wire is too long anyway so I'm just gonna shorten it take the plug off and just hardwire it in because those are just for the extensions and it's not needed to have a plug there yeah so come up here same thing we got the injectors seven five and then these are three and one so it goes one three five seven I'm not hooking those up just yet and the reason for that is is because I'm gonna crank the motor over and I don't want fuel spraying in the motor to prime it that's how I'm gonna prime it because I probably should have primed it before I even put the intake on but before I put that oil gear in there but oh well here's what it is the motor is really well lubed with uh, engine lubricant all right so anyway this vacuum port it runs down to the opti it's got a one-way check valve in it so it can yeah you can only suck and not blow back through there because when you go at wide open throttle and you've got you've got blow by it'll blow blow by back down through there and that check valve is there to keep oil from the blow by to go back inside the opti so it can only suck out of the opti help keep the opti clean also another line that comes off the opti is right here and it goes into your air intake stream it just plugs right in that's for the vented opti the non-vented optis will not have that here's your ignition control module icm there's the plug for that that bolts right back to the front of the head right here we're going to put that on later because i need those studs to put, lift the motor up here's your cool you got the cool plug in and you got your spark plug wire it goes over there uh, you got these ground wires very important those ground wires bolt there when you bolt the cool and icm on and then this goes up to the air intake and goes to your mass airflow sensor and that's uh pretty much it for that um that's the important wires that need hooked up off your wiring harness for the LT1.